This is one of the subscription boxes that I paid for. This is $40 a month. Um, what it is supposed to be is it's supposed to be different pieces and scientific things and artifacts that you can display around the house. They're supposed to be museum quality. So $40 a month, you get three to four items. Um, this is the first one I have received. So I'm interested to see what is inside. So let's see here. Benny, get down, babe. As always, the cats are helping out today because that's what they're really good at. And I did kind of track them here in the office with me. So we are uh, seeing what we can see. And if you can see, Benny's over there. This is his first appearance on YouTube. Uh, so we have something that actually my nephew is probably going to love. Right on top, um, you, you get little cards and you get an explanation of what is inside the box. Um, it says, thank you for your interest in the universe. Take solace in knowing you are made of the same anatomic ingredients as Einstein's brain, the large halodron collider, and every toilet clog ever. Every physical body is made up of some components, albeit in somewhat different arrangements. A subscription is designed to explore the intrinsic relationship through examples of some of the most unique matters on Earth. Um, hopefully my office is not being destroyed by the kitten, but we will see. So let's see what we actually have here. It looks like we um, have six or five different things. I can't count today. Um, the first thing we have is going to be a polarizing film. Um, we have two sl slides here. Uh, uses used by photographers to suppress glares and reflections, control light magnified by rotating the filters together. So um, it does list what it is, the interesting properties, and the uses on every card. So let's see what else we have in here. Now, the first one um, that I saw the card right on top, and this is something that will probably end up with my nephew. This is crop Pro Cop Rolite, which is animal poop, but it is prehistoric animal poop. So we have some dinosaur poop that came in here. The sample is from the Pacific Northwest area of the United States. So some more information there about why we were sent poop in the mail. Um, it's hard to say what type of animal a, a coprolite came from, but it's certainly old enough to be dinosaur species, so it's not 100% sure it's dinosaur species. But they use this to study the diets of prehistoric creatures. Um, it's a great conversation piece, they say, uh, and perfect gift for dinosaur or poo enthusiasts. So if you know a poo enthusiast, here's a great idea for them if you want to send them poop in the mail. Uh, the next thing we have is Lepladelu. I'm going to have a hard time with these. Lepidolite, a book of elements. Um, so this is a stone. It looks like we lost a couple pieces on um, during shipping because it is pretty frail, it looks like. Um, it's different layers of different stones that are just kind of piled together. So that is... Um, that's really pretty and it's interesting. It does look like you have some sharp edges. So if you are gonna display something like this, I would make sure you kind of put it, let's see if I can get it in better lighting. I would put it someplace away from kids. Um, in the box though, we do have, I can show you, this is what's in the box um, once the film was removed from the very top. Um, I would make sure you put this up just a little bit away from small kids. So we also have a tippy top and this was as featured by Physicians Fun, um, the top has surprising behaviors when spun it will invert itself to spin upside down until it loses momentum. So we're gonna try this out. Um, we're gonna record this separately and I will pop this over that um, so you guys can see what this does. Um, so when inverted, the top continues to spin in the same direction. So you can spin it both on the top and the bottom. That's what this guy is here. Um, it's kind of an interesting thing. It almost looks like a little doorknob, um, but the inside there is hollowed out. And it's a great tool to demonstrate angular momentum and deceivingly tough problem for physics students to figure out. 
And then we also have um, Too Salty for Life, which is Dead Sea Water. So we actually have some water from the Dead Sea here. And you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it on there or not, there are little flecks of things in here. I don't know if that's actual salt or if it's sediment. Um, at 34% water, or salt, this water is unable to support any life except for certain bacteria and microbial fungi. And floating in the Dead Sea is effortless. Tasting it won't hurt you, but be sure to drink plenty of fresh water to rehydrate if you do. Um, this is actually, it says it's often used in cosmetics, which is a little weird and a little creepy. Um, so this is from somewhere between Israel and Jordan. So overall for $40, um, this is actually, it's really fascinating kind of stuff. Um, I'm not sure that I ever expected to be shipped poop. Um, but like it said, we're all kind of made of the same things and everything, you know, even that clogs the toilets. So this is actually really fascinating i have another box coming next month again this is one that i'm just testing out um, for a few months to see if it's something i like so far i think this is worth it um, this would be great for people that are science nerds or that like uh, <laughs> that like the homeschool or like interesting artifacts um, Forty dollars. We're gonna have to see if after a couple months if this is still worth that much money. But right now, I would say absolutely yes. So um, like and subscribe. We're gonna do again unboxings every Friday. Um, pretty soon here, we're running into the holiday season, so we will have unboxings on probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday as we get closer to the holidays. Um, we're still looking for the best gift for the holiday season, and we have a lot of ideas coming from different companies. So um, like, subscribe, and we will see you later this week. Bye.